Hey guys, what's going on? It's Christina. Welcome back to the channel. Um, in case you don't already know, on this channel I do bag reviews, EDC items, different things that I've used in my day-to-day -day carry that I really like, that I would recommend for the most part. I'm really excited about this video today because I've been using this bag for on and off, mostly on for the most part for the past couple weeks and I love it and I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I do. If you can't already tell, this is a bag by Bellroy. This is known as the Via Work Bag. Um, I'm gonna link this for you guys in the description. It used to be called the Tech Briefcase, I believe, and they renamed it Via Work Bag. Um, it's a 14 liter bag. It is primarily, I guess, a tech bag you're in and out of the office you're back and forth to work every day i do not work outside the home right now i'm currently um a stay-at-home mom homeschooling mom very busy but i'm not bringing a laptop around day to day but i love this bag because i tend to like bags that are horizontally oriented as opposed to up and down like a backpack and the ease of access with this bag is so great so i'm going to get right into it i'm going to show you how it's laid out You'll see some of my stuff as I pull it out and show you what fits. And um, and yeah, we'll get into it. So this is, like I said, a 14 liter bag. This is the navy colorway. I believe they have a black, um, perhaps, I forget what else. I don't know if there's a grayish one or an orange one. You'll have to look on the website and see what they currently have available. So it comes with these two really nice, super soft handles. So you can carry this like a briefcase, right? You also have the option of this padded shoulder strap, which can completely be removed via these gatekeeper straps. And I'll talk about that more um, in a bit. So there's a front pocket here, which is sort of hidden right behind the zipper. As you can see right there, this zipper is not... Um, weather sealed, but you know, totally smooth. The nice Bellroy zipper pull, perfect. Um, even though it's sort of hiding behind the fabric, I've never once had a problem getting at the zipper or opening it. Um, perfectly smooth and and works well. I I don't always like zippers like this that are sort of like hiding behind the fabric, but this has been really good. Okay. So this is like the admin kind of section, quick access type of, of, a, of a compartment. So if you can see in there, there is a key leash with the clip where I have my AirPods attached. Okay, a pretty premium feeling clip, not cheap feeling. Okay, so right here, there's a larger slip pocket where I have my wallet. There are two pen slots. So I've got, you know, a pen here and then I have a, a Sharpie and a highlighter here in the same slot. They're pretty wide slots. You could easily fit two pens in each if you wanted. I just threw some tissues in there and then there's one more large slip pocket. And in here I have, this is where I have all the health insurance cards and things like that for the family. Um, I think it's like a business card holder. Um, but it works. So I'll flip it around so you can see in there the two slips and then the two pen slops, slots. And there's room here. There's a lot of dimension in this pocket. Like I said, I had my tissues thrown in here, but a lot of times I'll also throw my phone um, right there. The slot, I have a 14 Pro Max. I try to stand my phone up in one of these slots. It doesn't really fit. Um... It's a little too tall. It, it gets too, too close to the zipper closure. So that wouldn't work for me. So what I was doing is I was just throwing my phone just kind of right in the space right here. What's that? Oh, some, a sticker one of my kids put in there. Um, yeah. So that's the inside. Lighter color inside, not a black liner, which is perfect. Um, there's like inside of here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see how the pocket kind of almost stands open. It feels like right here, and now I'm trying to outline it so you could see there's like a, 
firm. It almost feels like plastic. That it just like half an inch wide and it keeps sort of the pocket open so that when you unzip it, it doesn't flop right down and you could easily, when this is on you, like you can get into it really easily. It's just, it, it's really great. Um, so that is the front compartment. I want to get to the back just to show you. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I like to attach certain things to the outside. Um, I have hand sanitizer and a light right here. I like to have certain things attached to these little points right here where this the the one of the handles is stitched perfect to like attach a carabiner with whatever. There is a luggage pass through here if you are traveling, okay? And the strap, like I told you. The thing about the strap, if you can see, normally with a briefcase style of bag, the strap you would think intuitively is mounted over here, right? It'd be more symmetri symmetrical on the bag. This one they call like the smart strap system or something. If you can see, it's anchored on the back of the bag, which at first I was like, this is a little bit strange, but when you wear this, it is super comfortable and it makes it so that when you're getting in the main compartment of the bag, it's unobstructed. It just, the strap is not in the way. The strap attachment points are not in the way and you can get into the bag really easily and the way the zippers open wide, you can see all of your stuff. So I'm gonna show you. You can see the zippers are weather sealed in the main compartment and it goes all the way around to the other side. There's two of them and it's like the reverse way. In other words, I can open just this side, right? Or if I, if I know the thing that I want is over here, I can open just that side. So I'm gonna show you now. I open it like that. Here is the main compartment of the bag. So at the top, there's this section that's raised right? It's, it's short, ideally for sunglasses, right? Or anything else that you want quick access to that maybe you don't want sliding down to the bottom of the bag getting crushed, okay? So I put my quick access stuff in there. Lip gloss, Tide pen, cream, mirror, the stuff I'm in and that stuff I'm, I'm constantly grabbing for right at the top, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what else is in here. I've got my sunglasses in here just in this pouch, this is my gum and my cough drops, right? This is a generic pouch from Amazon, I think, which is like some tech related stuff for me. And usually I have my MagSafe battery pack here, microfiber, and then I have another um, charger, portable charger, in case my husband's phone loses power, whatever. And then in the front, I just have my rosary beads right there in the front of that. I have a memo bottle, which you guys have seen. And then I have my two larger pouches, which you guys have also seen. There's videos where I show you what I've got in my pouches. If you're interested um, in my previous videos, this is like my hygiene pouch. And this is kind of like my, my the Air Slim pouch. It's like my toolkit um, slash first aid. And so there's that, right? There's the inside of the bag. Really roomy. And this is the laptop compartment. You can fit up to a 16 inch, I believe. I don't carry a laptop every day, so I just threw some paperwork back there. But I have my MacBook Air. This is 13 inch. You can see how that fits. Like there's obviously lots of room to spare. The website says 16 inches will fit. Um, and it's very padded and it's suspended off the bottom. I'm not sure if you could see that. It's hard to show. There's at least a good half inch off the bottom. So you do not need a case on your laptop if you want to put that in there. I love the lining. I love that it's this light tan color. I can easily see my stuff in here. Um, and then there's, you know, 
This bag is designed to move with you through your worlds and the little moments in between. We hope you travel well together for years to come. Um, you know, gussets on the side, if you can see, so you can't open both sides at the same time because of the way the zippers are designed. But I came to really like this because more times than not, right, I have my pouches packed in a certain way. This is how I would do it pretty much all the time. And let's put this stuff back in so I can show you. I would carry this on my left shoulder. So it was kind of, or actually if I did cross body, it was on my left shoulder. Otherwise it was, I could, I have this strap adjusted to the shortest position and this would just be hanging on my right shoulder. Um, but what I would most often do is just open this one side to about here, grab what I needed and the visibility is, is perfect. It's wide. Um, I'm not pulling two zippers this way and then having to, to pull open the bag and rifle around. The visibility and the access to this bag is second to none. Now, if you know me or if you follow me at all, you know that I like bags that stand up by itself. This does not. If you can see the bottom, it's not a flat bottom. It's very, very, very padded on the bottom but it's rounded. So there's no way that this is standing up, really no matter how you pack it, when you put it down. And surprisingly, surprisingly to myself, it did not bother me. It was not a deal breaker for me because I love so many things about this bag. The comfort of the brief case handles, amazing. The comfort of this strap, which which at first glance looks like nothing super special. Fantastic comfort on this shoulder strap. I never once was carrying this and felt like, oh, dang, this is really uncomfortable. Never once. It was a real pleasure to use. And I'm actually almost disappointed that I have to transfer out of this bag. I have a couple other bags that I have for testing and review that I'm going to be moving into. Um, after I get this review up for you guys, but I have loved this, this Bellroy Via work bag. Um, there's also, you know, I guess you could also attach things here if you wanted to, but because of the way this, this is like sort of gusseted, so to speak, if you hang something here, it's gonna probably, it's gonna get in your way of the uh, zipper, which is why I opted for attaching my external things to the back. My one complaint, not complaint, it's not a complaint. My one little nitpick, something to note, is that this would tend to sort of collect lint, dust, dirt. I mean, I don't know if you could see. I would often be doing this because I'm like anal about the bags, like cleaning it out. But like it's a little dirty in there just, for, just from life. You know what I'm saying? Because it would just, the stuff would just, you know micro particles would fall in and it, you can't just easily get it out. But that's, whatever, that's not a deal breaker. That's just something that I wanted to tell you guys so that you're aware. Um, I thought that I would not like this as much as the air commuter brief and I love it way more. And I'm shocked because I, I really thought that was my style, that that was the bag I was gonna prefer in terms of a bag, this 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 type of bag, and I love this Bellroy. I, I can't say enough about it. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, again, this strap can completely be removed, and you can carry this bag this way, and it's so comfortable, like no issues in the hand. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking as I'm wrapping this up, and I think that's it. If you like bags, that are horizontally oriented like this, and you're looking for something, you know, bigger than 10 liters, like in that space, this, check this one out. This is a great one to check out. It's, it's, it's amazing. And again, I didn't expect to think it was amazing. And I do. Um, so 
So let me know, guys. Questions, comments, put them in the uh, in the description or under the description, I should say. Anything else that you're that you'd like to see me review, um, let me know, and I can try to get my hands on it. I really enjoy this, and I appreciate your support. So please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, that will really help me out. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.